Hello friends, uh, my name is Dr. Sunil Bhatt. Uh, I am the director and clinical lead of pediatric hematology, oncology and bone marrow transplantation at the Narana Health City, Bangalore. Now we all know 2nd of October is a very important day for us. We celebrate Gandhi Jayanti on 2nd of October. But 2nd of October also marks the beginning of what we call as the joy of giving week. It's also called as the festival of philanthropy wherein you know every member of the society kind of pledges to give something to the resource limited to the poor to the downtrodden whether it's in terms of um, money whether it's in terms of skill and other services in this um, week of giving i am wanting you to pledge something more important something more beautiful i want you to pledge your stem cells to someone who is in need of a bone marrow transplantation and by you giving that you can save somebody's life every few minutes there's someone in this country who is diagnosed with blood cancer and there are so many other diseases like thalassemia sickle cell disease aplastic anemia immunodeficiencies some other cancers and blood cancers of course which can be cured only with bone marrow transplantation now with bone marrow transplantation, the problem is that you need someone who's matching you, what's called as HLA match. And the chances of that in your family matching someone um, with this patient is all about 25 to 30%. So that means that over 70% of the patients who require bone marrow transplantation, but do not have anyone in their families to donate for them. So what to do for these patients who don't have any family member who can donate for them? So here comes the role of unrelated bone marrow transplant or uh, unrelated voluntary donors who can, if they are matching with the patient, donate their stem cells and help someone to cure them of their deadly disease. So I, th I think this is a, probably the, the most important, the most pious, the most satisfying gift you can give to someone. You know, give a renewable part of your body, give a tissue which is stem cells which are renewable, you don't lose anything in the process, but in the process you're helping someone to tide over, to come over, to overcome a very serious disease um, and help them to cure them and give them a new you know, lease of life. It's a gift of life basically what you do by donating the stem cells. So how do we know that we are matching someone? How does a voluntary donor know that they're matching someone in anywhere in the world who's a requirement of a bone marrow transplantation? So here comes the role of what we call as bone marrow or stem cell registries. These registries, what they do is that they enroll voluntary donors who are healthy all over the country and store their what's called as HLA typing in their database. And once a patient requires a transplantation, the transplant physicians and the transplant centers reach out to these registries and give them HLA typing of the patient. And these registries try to find out in their database whether there's someone matching uh, to this patient or not and if there's someone matching from the database they have they'll reach out to the donor who has voluntarily registered himself or herself in this registry and ask them for donation to cure this patient now you know it's it's common sense the more the number of donors voluntary donors we have in our registry more will be the chances of a patient finding a donor in the unrelated donor registries hence we need to encourage as many people who can register themselves and be willing to donate their stem cells. Now the very important question which is asked by these donors is that, is there any risk to them in the long term or the short term? And the simple answer to that is no. It's a very safe, simple procedure. You're giving some extra stem cells from your blood and these get renewed in few days time and you really do not lose anything. You can, you can continue to work from the next day of your stem cell you know, donation and you don't have any long-term or short-term complications or side effects because of the donation process. So what I you know, appeal today that during this um, week of the giving, let us all pledge to be unvoluntary donors. Let us pledge to give our HLA typing sample to the registries so that they can match this HLA typing to someone else who's in need of the bone marrow transplant and then we can donate our stem cells to save that person. 
Now, where is unrelated donor registry? So, with unrelated donor registry in India is in Chennai. It's called Datri. So, Datri enrolled these these are voluntary donors all over the country and then store them in the database and as I said earlier then we can search for donors in the database. Now Datri has got more than 4 lakh people who have registered themselves as voluntary donors. It's a good beginning, it's a good start but at the same time you know 4 lakh people for this country for size is not enough so we need as many people and you know I, I my best guess is that we should have at least a crore uh, people in this registry to make a difference to make a difference that we can find a donor for our patients who require a bone marrow transplant for cure. So to conclude, my dear friends, um, you know, I want you to enroll yourself, enroll yourself as, uh, you know, voluntary donors in this stem cell registry called Datri in Chennai and save somebody's life and make a difference in somebody's, um, somebody's life and their families. Thank you very much.